Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. I'm gonna apologize right now for the music. I just, this is the best situation we have right now. Uh, so there's gonna be a little bit of a bump in music situation, but I'm gonna speak up, Roberto's gonna speak up, and we're gonna shoot an Is It Hype. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be in LA for the next week or so. I really should have prefaced with that, but here you go. I'm in LA. So my original intention was to shoot at Munchie's Diner, but they're closed for a couple days for like kitchen renovations. I'm gonna try to come back and shoot in a couple days, uh, but for now we're gonna be shooting at Naughty Panda. It is fully plant-based and it's like Asian food. They have like sushi and teriyaki, orange chicken, all that fun stuff, but with a modern twist. Naughty Panda is owned by the same guy as Munchie's. Uh, what's his name again? Leo! And he very nicely invited us over to Naughty Panda to try when we were disappointed that Munchie's was closed. So. We got a few things. I'm gonna walk you back inside and show you the location. It's in 4th Street Market in Santa Ana? Whatever, it's in 4th Street Market. Again, I'm really bad with like locations and neighborhoods in California. Just, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Anyway, I'll walk you inside, show you the menu, show you what we got, and then when it's done, we're gonna do a taste test. So the area where I'm gonna shoot the taste test is this wonderful outside location. Don't worry guys, I eventually see the error in this decision and move inside. I've decided to shoot out here because of the lighting, it's better. Um, but inside is where all the food places are. Ugh. It's like a little uh, market with a whole bunch of different restaurants inside. The one that we are trying is right, right here. Naughty Panda. I don't know how well you guys can see this menu. There you go, give it a little pause if you wanna check out all the items. We got three things, we got a sushi burrito, we got teriyaki chicken bowl, and we got orange chicken fries. I'm super excited. Okay, so the bowls came out. This is the chicken teriyaki, and I'm so blown away by the texture. I, like, I don't even know how to feel right now. Like, tell me that's not actual like chicken meat. I'm so confused. And then this was supposed to be orange chicken fries. They accidentally gave us an orange chicken bowl, which is fine, it's better for us. So we have the two bowls. We're waiting for our burrito, our sushi burrito. And then we're gonna probably go inside because of like noise, you know? Sushi burrito is here. It looks so good. Usually this is only served on weekends, but they were so gracious enough to make it for us today on a Tuesday. We're gonna go inside right now and do a taste test. All right, okay, lighting is not as nice here, but I think you guys can hear me better, so that's the trade-off. I'm, like, we haven't eaten anything today. I ate a Cliff Bar, but, like, no real food. So, we are so hungry. The thing that, in, like, intrigues me the most is this chicken teriyaki right now because the texture looks exactly the way I remember chicken teriyaki being like, so I'm a little thrown off, you know? See, look. <laughs> Yo, that tastes so good. Take a bite. I think it's seitan. It's a little soft. But tell me that's not, like, the texture. Oh, yeah. What? How they, like, like charred it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Really good. This hits all the right spots. Chicken teriyaki or chicken and broccoli was my like order when we got Chinese food growing up. What was yours? Shrimp and broccoli, usually. Mm. Sometimes chicken, mostly shrimp. This is good. This is really this good. This is so good. This tastes legit like Chinese food, like takeout Chinese food. Yeah. I think given to most people, you went, you can't tell the difference. The only difference is that the chicken is a little soft, like a little bit, but I don't want to be really gracious right now, but I want to give it a 10. You want to give it a 10? Yeah, it would be like a 9.5, I would say for me, just because of the texture, that's it. Okay, okay, 9.5. But the texture is it's like close enough, it's mm -hmm. just not, you know, as like tough, it's, it's, it's the, not as rough. It's the, it's the closest chicken teriyaki texture I've ever had. Yeah, mad good. We're just ignoring the lonely broccoli. I don't really want it out here. I ate one. <laughs> it comes with broccoli and pickled carrots. The rice is basic but good. Like the sauce from the chicken teriyaki flavor is the rice. Yeah? Mm hmm. Next? Yeah. Next up, we have orange chicken. I don't like orange chicken, so. Take, I, I love it. He likes it, so that's why we got it. So take my rating with a grain of salt. I don't do sweet and savory, so that's why, you know. But 
We'll give it a try. Oh, it's cauliflower. Oh, it is? Mm hmm. Cheers. <laughs> you know me, I like it. He's impressed. I mean, it tastes like orange chicken. Like, the texture is definitely cauliflower, mm -hmm. but the flavor is orange chickeny flavor, and it's crispy and sweet, a little bit spicy. I don't like orange chicken, so it makes sense that I wouldn't like it. But you, you can review it. The crispiness, on point. The sweetness, I love. I love all things like orange. So this is really good. Before I even rate it, I do like that they made it out of cauliflower mm -hmm. because it's like a little bit healthier, I guess. Yeah. You know, but um, considering it's like deep fried and covered in like sugary sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does make it lighter. Some health benefits. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna feel like crap after eating mm -hmm. this, which is good. Good. I would give it like a 8.5 maybe. I would okay. say 8.5. I'll give it a. Tastes mostly like orange chicken out of 10. <laughs> okay, now for this beauty. So this wasn't on the menu because it's only served on weekends. I wanna pull up what's inside. Um, it is called the Sumo Sushi Burrito. It's a deep fried sushi with fresh avocado, tempura shrimp, spicy jackfruit, red peppers, carrot shreds, and, me and melted Munchies Deli mozzarella drizzled with naughty sauce and spicy mayo. That's amazing. They had a lot of rolls that looked really, really good that were like regular size rolls. I just really wanted to try the sushi burrito because, you know, pics and also it looked really good on Instagram. This holds together really well for a sushi burrito. It's so crispy. I don't know what they use for the fake shrimp, but it tastes like shrimp. Like, I can't tell what the texture of the shrimp is because it's like in the crispiness, but it tastes like shrimp. I think in the future I would get it without the red pepper. Oh, I see the shrimp. Let's rescue it. What? Tell me that's not shrimp though. The texture is really close. I'm, I'm impressed. The burrito is a little greasy, but like it's a deep fried sushi, yeah. so like, Duh. So I don't know if I would get it often, but it is really good. I would give it a 9 out of 10. I would give it the same. The only thing that I wish there was more of was the sauce. The sauce, the sauce is really good. Yeah, the sauce. But it's great. I heard that the same people who own Munchies and Naughty Panda also have a dessert place in this area. So I'm going to see if we can grab one dessert to go and then we'll wrap up the video. See you then. So the dessert place is called Sweet Tooth. They have milkshakes, waffle ice cream sandwiches, or brownie ice cream sandwiches. I really thought we were gonna be able to hold this thing, but look how big it is, look how stuffed. So unfortunately, he was out of soft serve ice cream, so he did it for us with scooped ice cream. These are three different flavors, strawberry, chocolate, and assuming that's vanilla, hopefully I'm right. Then it has banana and strawberries on top with cocoa whip and strawberry sauce. So after some pictures, we're gonna take a couple bites and I'll let you know how it is. You wanna get a scoop? We get cheers. Yeah. The waffle is crispy. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. The ice cream is a little bit icy, but then again, it's usually served with soft serve, so strawberry is my favorite. The waffle with the ice cream and the strawberry syrup and the coconut whip. It's good. And I was kinda like, skeptical about the waffle being that crispy no but it, it works because sometimes the waffle get like nasty, soggy you know so when you do waffle and ice cream sometimes the waffle soaks up all the ice cream and then it gets like even hard to cut and like chewy yeah. you know what i this mean is good. crispy waffle was exactly what we needed but we didn't know mm. bonus bonus video okay so vegan food plug on instagram follow him if you want to see like extreme drool worthy drool worthy vegan food vegan food plug. Anyway, so he works at a bunch of restaurants around here, including Munchie's Diner, and he just rushed us over a quesadilla. So we're gonna just take a couple bites before we head out. It looks like there's tomatoes and other stuff in here. Here, just go. Right? Yeah. It's a corn tortilla. Ooh. Mmm. And he said he did it with the corn tortilla because they're out of whatever they usually use, but it's really good with the it's corn tortilla. It's good with tortilla. the corn tortilla. Delicious out of 10. It's a good food overload today. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's a little spicy too. Super good. Okay, all right, now we're actually done. We'll wrap up outside. So real quick, the food was amazing. I definitely recommend a Naughty Panda. So hype, 100%. Uh, the ter teriyaki bowl was like, blew my mind. Everything else was good. But if you're gonna come and only get one thing, I would say the teriyaki bowl for sure. And then maybe like try a like a like a sushi, you know, sushi roll or something like that. I didn't try them, but based on everything else we had, I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, what do you think? I think everything was good. Um, yeah, the teriyaki chicken was actually really good. That char on there, I don't Hella know. nostalgic. It was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that is all I have. We might be able to come back tomorrow and try munchies. munchies. We'll keep you in the loop. Anyway, like you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. It's Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Emily Blaine, Juanita, Emily B, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Clarissa, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Janine, and Nicole. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then please just stick around and watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. Catch you guys next video!